What's up guys, Commander Alex here, and today we are going to be playing some Vainglory as Celeste. I did want to kind of delay this video a little bit because I wanted to actually give you guys some good Celeste gameplay and not just rush out the first game that I played with her. Because I tend to give tips when I play in my Let's Plays and I didn't want to just be giving tips that maybe were incorrect or that, uh, that weren't that great. So, I played a couple games with her. I think I've played probably more like 10-ish games with her at this point. And uh, I have a good enough idea that I feel like I won't be just spouting off random nonsense and I'll actually be able to help you. So that's why this video was a little bit delayed, but I hope you guys don't care because it is here now and uh, we should be doing pretty well. I'm, I'm not particularly loving the uh, Celeste versus Adagio lane, but I played it before and, and I have had a game or two where it's gone well, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, one thing that I think is really cool that you can do with Celeste though is that you can actually build and alternating current on top of her regular auto attack. So her regular attacks do uh, crystal damage, her abilities do crystal damage, and then the uh, alternating current is sort of gonna like double that up. So you can actually end up making her incredibly deadly, even auto attack rock, even auto attack wise, which is, uh, is something that I don't think a lot of people have thought about and tried, and I've actually had a ton of fun doing it. So we're gonna try that out today, as long as I can kill this guy. Come on, die. Alright, well that was more difficult than it had to be. But it's all good. Throw that down, catch the Adazio. Already pretty long health. Shouldn't be an issue though. I'm probably going to go for the Eve of Harvest first and then I'll go for the uh for the alternating current. And then just, you know, situational crystal items and boots, obviously the whole time. Because building actual defense on Celeste is just really not worth it. Um, I feel like you kind of just, you have to accept that you're never going to be a tank and that you can uh, just run away from enemies if they get too dangerous for you. So that's why I like going for boots, which is sort of like uh, like movement defense almost in a way. Because if you're not where they can hit you, then uh, then it's the best defense of all. So that's my thoughts on her defense. But definitely attack-wise, Celeste is a lame bully. Uh, I could probably... If I really wanted to, I could probably actually end up bullying out this uh, Daggio, which is something pretty much no hero can do. But I don't because because uh, I don't want to get ganked. What are they saying? No, I can't get there, guys. Why? 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 Speaking of uh, of what are they saying? Got this sweet new ping system. I'm actually really liking it, and people seem to be using it and understanding it a lot better than I thought they would. So I'm. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with Super Evil Mega Corp's job there. They did a good job incorporating more communications, but at the same time not making it um, kind of just a bunch of trash. So I'm I'm definitely happy with how the new ping system is working. No, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. They're all up, and you are over there. I'm not gonna try and one v three them or one v two since a dodger would be in lane. But you you guys get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. Dodger, go away. I don't care about you right now. Let me get my Eve of Harvest and my alternating current, and then we can talk, okay? Dodger's just like, yep, yep, that's cool. I'll walk away. Being a good friend. So let's see. Um, things to talk about. Well, I was away on a trip. You guys didn't notice, and I think I talked about this in my last video, but I was away for a couple days on a trip for a competition. Um, basically, I'm in a robotics team. It's just as nerdy as it sounds, but uh, my team actually is a rookie team this year, and we managed to win this award that gets us a free pass to nationals. So what happens is um, we we live in Minnesota, or at least I live in Minnesota, and uh, and my team went to the conference, and we actually did absolutely horrible in the conference. But since we're a rookie team, we can win certain awards. And uh, some some awards that you can win actually will just give you a free pass straight to nationals. Um, I think there's two awards. There's the rookie all star award which we won, and then there's the chairman's award, which you pretty much just can't win as a rookie to be honest. Um, but yeah, the, so there's these awards that will just give you a free pass, and uh, it's it's pretty awesome that we won it because in the actual competition days we never even got picked, and the whole thing works uh, sort of like a like gentleman's tournament where you pick teams and then uh, the winning team in the end wins and and there's all sorts of politics and things that go on to uh, pick the best team and to pick a team that makes you look good and all that um, but the uh, pretty easy way to put it is that our team was so bad that no team wanted to be in an alliance with us or in a team with us so what happened was 
we for the final day where competitions were going on we just sat there we watched them it was it wasn't bad or anything they were really cool to watch and obviously watching robots do all this cool stuff without like anyone helping them is really fun to do but uh, we, we were pretty sad and we weren't even going to stick around for awards we were sort of debating it but uh, in the end we actually did and it's a good thing we did because one of the final awards was the rookie all-star award and yeah we won it so they uh they do all their awards in haikus which is something really interesting and actually it's really cool how the judges did it uh, but basically what happens is they did all their awards in a haiku format so it's like a little poem for each award and all the judges write them and we got the award uh sword and since i live in the hometown of shakopee i was like oh man oh man sword saber yes i know what's about to happen and we actually won it. We we were Saber Robotics, and we got the Rookie All Star Award, and that means that we don't have to go to states. We don't have to like try and actually win anything because because winning is overrated when you can just get a free pass. So uh, I was pretty psyched about that, and that's why I was gone. And there weren't as many videos, but uh, on, in in April, I actually forget the exact date, but sometime in April, we're going to be going to Nationals, which is in St. Louis, and competing against teams that. Funny enough, aren't even from this nation. So we have teams uh, coming from China. I think someone from like Argentina or Chile. Um, there's one from Canada, one from Mexico, uh, Germany. There's, there's teams from all around the world that are coming to this thing. And it's going to be freaking awesome. And my team, just random luck, managed to actually get it. So I'm super, super proud of myself right now. Um, I guess more proud of my team than myself. But definitely, definitely a cool thing. And uh, I would really suggest you guys to get into robotics if you haven't joined a team. Yes, it's very, very nerdy, but it is a lot of fun. And if you're into that sort of stuff like uh, design challenges, then it's definitely going to be something that you will enjoy. Anyway, we should get back to the actual gameplay here. I went off on a little bit of a tangent there. But it's always nice to have something to talk about when you're in lane and just farming. So, pick up our void battery there. Blazing Salvo, Crystal Bit, and... You know what, we'll pick up another Crystal Bit just because... Of the extra, what what you saying? Oh, don't know what that was all about. But we have the gold mine, so I'm pretty cool with that. But yeah, so I'll go for the alternating current next. And after that, let's see, are they building against me at all? Nah, so I don't have to go um, like any sort of armor pierce or shield pierce. I don't know why I buy armor pierce, but uh, since they're not building against me, I could probably go shatter glass. I could go alternating current or I could go eve of harvest all of which in my opinion are very good on Celeste I actually like shatter glass a lot more than people seem to like it on her and the reason is wow that was a horrible alt like what what was the point uh, but the reason I enjoy the ultra, what was I talking about oh I know what I was talking about the clockwork the reason I enjoy the clockwork on Celeste is because it actually now gives you energy as well as that ability cooldown so what happens is you're not just making it so you're starving yourself of energy by using your abilities all the time. You're also regening a lot of energy. So it's it's a lot more balanced in that regard because it used to be like you get some CP for it and you'd also get some ability cooldown, which was great. But it means that you'd be using your abilities so much that you wouldn't even be able to like to regen your energy quick enough. So um, I like this version a lot more. And I also like the new version of the Frostburn because that gives you a lot more CP. And uh, in my opinion, I really like going for the Frostburn, Clockwork, Evil Harvest combo because that's tons of energy regen. That's a lot of CP from the Frostburn and from the Evil Harvest. And you get the ability cooldown. So it's, it's like the, the freaking trifecta. And in my opinion, it's like the best build that I've come across. So definitely excited to try that one out. Let's see, can we? Yeah. <laughs> just got to stick out here, just not kill myself. That's kind of the goal. Eh, yeah, we're not going to chase that. We'll just wait for a second. We should be pretty close to our alternating current. Cruel, what are you doing, bud? What are you doing? Ugh, man, Cruel. Can't be farming like that, or feeding. <laughs> I was not farming. Maybe farming for the enemy team, but uh, certainly not for our team. Ooh, that's bad stuff. That's bad stuff. I don't appreciate it. If, uh, if she had had her alt up, that actually probably could have been a kill for them. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stick over here for a little bit. Not too keen on that. What can we do? The nice thing is that you can actually use your uh, 
your heliogenesis star things to actually check bushes. So it's sort of like Scarf's uh, Spitfire in that sense, where you can throw it into a bush and it'll grant you some vision. Just throw that out there. Oh, I did not expect that much damage. Yes! Oh, the double! And I didn't even have my alternating current yet. That was that was actually very, very well played, if I do say so myself. And pick up the Halcyon pod as well. Surprised that I haven't had anyone trying to target me. Cough, cough, Taka. It's kind of your job. Don't know what their Taka's been doing, but uh, normally, if you have a Taka, you should be targeting the crap out of the enemy Celeste, because if you get a farm Celeste, it, it is scary. That's that's all I'm going to say. It is very, very scary. So uh, I would definitely suggest, at least in these early days when everyone's trying to learn Celeste and everyone's trying to play Celeste, bring in pretty much any Celeste killer. That's going to be Glaive, Taka, the new Kashka. Um, anyone that's really good at countering Celeste, I think, is going to be tons of fun to play in these early days because everyone's trying to play her. And most people don't know how to, not to mention, even if you do know how to, you're going to get really messed up by Taka. Like, you do not need a lot of skill to kill a Celeste as Taka. That was just ugly what just happened to my teammate there. Don't chase. Oh, you chased. You chased. And the bright side, I could probably single-handedly push them off of this thing. Come on. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Can I? Can I get it? Can I get it? I want it. I really, 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 really want it. You just want invisible. That would explain it. Or he just backed. I don't actually know which happened. Either way, I'm kind of sad because I wanted to get the triple. But I'm not I'm not going to be too sad because that was still pretty impressive. So we could go Shatter Glass or Frostburn at this point. Also Clockwork's an option, but I'm not really, I'm not really feeling the Clockwork right now. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we'll go for that Frostburn, because the fact that you can proc that with your auto attacks is pretty deadly, and uh, I almost feel like it needs to be nerfed, but at the same time, it's so much fun, I just, I don't want it to be nerfed. Please don't nerf it. Just, just please. <sighs> Didn't even need to explode that thing to get that farm. I am getting incredibly fed. Let's check levels right now. That's not levels. Here we go. Nope, so not levels. Here we go. I'm level 11. Alright, so there are Dodgers keeping up with me, but everybody else is falling way, way behind. Like, dangerously behind. Why would you jump into that? Just, just don't. That's my only thing. Just, why would you jump into the Adagio's alt? What was the point of that? Oh, I hit level 12. That's fun. Got my third level of my uh, Solar Storm. God, that, that ability is so much fun. Just because... No matter what you do with it, it's gonna be epic. It's, it's like a prerequisite. Pre, what am I saying? Prerequisite. This Taka, you're dead. Yep. Okay. You wanna? You you don't wanna fight me? Um, I don't know. Oh, there you are. It's like where the heck did the Adazio go? She's just chilling in lane. All right. Well, we're getting an easy farm at this point because we do so much damage. We can like. Two shot. Ooh, just like that. Cruel got two sharded. Ooh, that is disgustingly, disgustingly nice to watch. What am I doing? No, 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 no. I just I had some weird clicking going on there. That was very odd. Shouldn't be an issue though. Kashka, please don't die. I'll be there in a second. All right, I got my frost burn. Oh no. Ooh, yep, I'm dead. Shouldn't have tried to save him. I should have just left him. Anyway, pick up our sprint boots. Probably should have bought those a while ago now that I think about it. But you get carried away in the damage. Happens to the best of us. Looking at our team. Alright, cruel. Definitely the learning process. I get that. Celeste, I, I would say I'm doing fairly good. And then Kashka, I mean, you're not doing great, but I'm definitely alright with how you're doing. And their Dodger is really the only one I have to worry about. For some reason, Kashka and Kurul are building shield, which doesn't make any sense to me. I guess maybe against the Catherine, but not, not really against the Adagio. 
Yudagio's the real threat here. I think we can all agree on that one. Anyway. Nice easy farm there. Throw that there. That was, that was a waste. Alright. Throw this out. Did I get a kill off of that? I think I might have just gotten a kill. This Adagio is just so scared. Doesn't want to go in the bush. Ooh, can I get a kill? And no, come on, come on. No, 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 no. You ain't running away. Oh, please tell me that landed. I'm not fast enough. No. Oh, and I went too far. There's no recovering from that. Ugh. Man. It just drrr. It really irks me sometimes. <laughs> wow, that was nerdy. It irks me. Uh, anyway. We could... What can we build? We'll, we'll get rid of that, because we don't need our pot. Build two crystal bits, and then build towards a shatter glass. Are they building any shield? Nope. That's, that's not very smart, but okay. I will accept that. Uh, that's also not very smart. Why would you do that, Kashka? Why? Why? Is odd. We can do this. Sorry, I got silent there for a second. Didn't want to die too quickly. Ooh. Image. I don't appreciate it. Trying to get some vision there. How did he? Ah, fuck it. Well, I don't want to be. Hopefully, you try and hit me again. That's not. I'm trying to get her to run into that thing. Anyway. What can we do? No, no. God, go away, Catherine. Just wasted everything you had on me. Literally everything, and you're gonna get out for it. That is. Kashka, no. No, Ka Oh. Oh, don't do it, Cruel. Don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Why would you do it? Alright. Well. I don't know if I really. Like. 1 in 11, 1 in 6. Okay. Alright. You know what? We don't need to be judgmental. This is a non-judgmental channel. 15 seconds, so my alt's up. I can hit both of them. It's not going to be enough to kill him, though. Throw that down. Throw that down there. Go damage. Throw that out. Just got to keep him off of this turret. And I got to seal a Kraken, because there's no way I can take it on my own, and there's no way I'm going to ace him on my own, unless I get incredibly lucky. I wish they had some sort of breaking point deal for... Uh, for the new CP auto tax, I wish there was some way that that worked. Like, instead of breaking point giving you plus 15, or I guess for a range here, plus 9 attack power, if it gave you plus 9 crystal power, that'd be pretty sweet. Tell me what you think of that down below. Ooh, good farm, good farm. No, no, don't rush, don't chase, don't chase, don't chase. Yeah, alright, I got the kill. Now we can chase. Now we can go for it. Okay, okay. 
That's right, target, cruel. I will boots over. Okay, all right. Here we go. We got we got a catcher here. We got a catcher. Because this is kind of our own. I'm not even standing in the bush. Genius. Come on, come on. Yes, keep chasing. Keep chasing. Actually, are there are their friends up? Yep, their friends are up. Back away, back away. That's a good thing I checked because I would have stuck there for hours trying to kill her. Anyway, we can head back to base and pick up. What do you want to pick up? Any shields yet? Still no shields. Fair enough. I guess we'll just go for a shattered glass. I mean, eventually, when I can, like, one-shot them with my alt, they're gonna have to build a shield. But until then, I guess they're just they're just not into that. This Adagio, if I'm very, very lucky, will die from that. Guess not. Okay. It's okay. Ooh. Boots out, boots out, boots out. Go, 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 go. Go, go, boots. Come on. If I get out of this, I'm going to cry. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes. Man, that was sweet. I just got to check around here. That was, man, that was pretty sweet. All right, I'm thoroughly about to die. If I had stuck there, Taka definitely would have killed me. Surprised Taka didn't just go for that Koshka right there, but I guess he thought better. Anyway, we'll head back to base here. Can we pick up, oh, for God's sakes, we're like 80 gold off. That's just dumb. That's, that's not fun. Bright side, I do think we should probably check Kraken. By I do think I'm saying they're probably taking it. Yep, that's a double. That's, oh, no, oh, no, 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 not me, not me. Go for somebody else. Yeah, the triple. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, just, just somebody else tank this for me, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, the puns, the pun game is too real, guys. All right, what are we doing? Pick up our shatter glass and clockwork. I, I kind of want to do it. Are they are they building any shields yet? Still no shields. All right, we're going for clockwork, guys. But we might not even need it because we can rip through their turrets. Celeste is definitely, I, I mean, forced to be reckoned with it when it, when it comes to turrets. That's all I'm gonna say. Like that's look at that damage. I love that damage. Just love it. Just love it, guys. Just can't get enough of it. Like cocaine. Okay, that was that was a little bit more of an adult joke. Probably shouldn't have said that. Stun you. Get out of my house. Boom. Dead. Ooh, I do so much freaking damage. I love it. I love it, guys. Freaking awesome. Yeah, just just stay away. I'll stay away from you. This is just as great. Even with the Adagio here, I don't think it's gonna be enough. Come on, come on.
Yeah, got the kill, got the kill, and we, we, we got this in the bag. Well, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscription, and become a lieutenant today, and I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to be, be pretty honest. I'm impressed with myself because I was thinking I was going to have to re-record this one. Take a screenshot of that gold grab. Damn. 11,000. That is impressive in my opinion. And then we got Cruel going 1-13 and, and Koshka going 2-7. and seven. Yeah, Dodge was pretty good, but uh, I wasn't very impressed with the rest of the team. Still, good game. Definitely hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will see you guys in the next video. Talk to you guys next time.